Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. First of all, if you notice, the tree has been taken down. We decided to take it down. We had a bit of extra time today, so that's what we did. Um, regardless, we have a big storm, obviously, that has already dumped over a foot across the west, right? The mountains and now into the plains. There are certain cities like in Nebraska City that has gotten over a foot. There are snowfall reports coming in. It just started to snow here in Chicago. Um, in my location, I know that it may not be uniform throughout all of the northern Illinois area, but that will start filling in within the next hour. And uh, we will be going over snowfall amounts, snow details, and what to expect, where snowfall, snowfall forecasts have increased, where they have decreased. So if you guys enjoy these type of videos, consider subscribing to this channel. And if you uh, also want to support it, you could consider clicking the thumbs up button. I do have a Patreon also if you want to uh, stop by and support on that. That would be awesome. Regardless, thank you so much for watching in the first place. Let's start talking about this storm. All right, so let's begin by looking at the radar. So let me pull up the regular rain versus snow and ice radar. Take off that and put this in to motion. So first off, what we see is a very, very extensive line of snow extending from essentially the plains of Colorado all the way into potentially starting to snow across Indiana and Ohio. Again, a lot of this isn't reaching the ground because of the very dry atmosphere that we still have in place. This will obviously get saturated. Um, for example, uh, let's track this back. I'm just using my location as an example because I know what the observations were as I was the observer, right? Notice that we lived, I live just north of Chicago and it started to show on a radar at around three o'clock, right? But it did not snow. Uh, this was not falling any of that up until around the 4.30 time. So a lot of that was just Virga and it wasn't reaching the ground. It did start sooner across western Illinois, but notice that it did fill in rather quickly. Um, just I want to progress this through time to show you how quickly this filled in. Notice at 11 a.m., going back six hours, Des Moines, Iowa still wasn't seeing any uh, snow and then look at this it just blossomed right there it was several locations across illinois and indiana that picked up one to two inches from this band of snow right here very very heavy snow but it's also very wet snow so it doesn't have good snowfall ratios right so accumulate notice that this thing just propagated very quickly across illinois i mean this is almost two o'clock and within uh an hour this is what it looked like right notice uh, we have the vortex right there and as this continues, well, the vortex is actually a bit further to the south, but um, that's where we have the heaviest of the snow. And notice that, notice that again, it started spreading very quickly and will continue to do so into Indiana, Ohio, into the rest of Illinois, right? The filling in that little gap right there. Um, notice that Western Illinois is seeing pretty good uh, snowfall rates. Des Moines, Iowa, I was looking at their webcam, they have already uh, decent snowfall amounts, but I, for further details, I'd like to look at the snowfall, uh, the snowfall reports. Alright, so let's start looking at these snowfall reports. Notice none have come from Des Moines, Iowa yet, even though snow has fallen, they just haven't reported it yet. That usually is a bit of a delay, that's perfectly normal. Notice what I was talking about earlier, Springfield and Decatur, um, Decatur, uh, Illinois. Around 1 to 2 inches fell, right? It was rather on a light amount. Uh, this was also from, uh, that was from yesterday, yeah, that seemed a bit further to the south. This is also from mainly yesterday uh, and today in the morning. So this is what fell, and I'm assuming this kind of continued through this track. Notice that Lincoln, Nebraska is at 10 inches, right? Uh, near North Platte, it is around 3 to 4 inches of snow. Notice that Nebraska City, as I was saying, is over a foot. That was as of 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. So we do have already over a foot across Nebraska. And this will quickly start spreading to the east. Now, let's take a look at uh, the national weather, or sorry, radar data map in terms of the actual colors. That could give us a better area or better uh, feeling of where the intense snow is falling. Notice that it really propagated very well across northern Illinois and Wisconsin. Actually, one to two hours ahead of schedule for some location, if not if not three hours ahead of schedule. And I will show you what the weather models were thinking versus what actually happened. So this could add on an additional inch of snow as it has been a bit of an early add-on. Notice that very heavy snow obviously continues into Des Moines, Omaha, Lincoln. It is winding down, but it is going to stick around for at least a few more hours. And, you know, that heavy snow, if it's just a few more hours of that heavy snow, it could really make a difference. 
between um, 14 inches and potentially, you know, 18 inches. This was several hours ago. Notice it was very concentrated. I would not be surprised if there was some lightning there reported right off of uh, southern Omaha area. Notice again, as I mentioned, this thing just propagated super, super quickly. And now we are at this time frame. Notice, uh, sorry, this is still an hour ago what it looked like. Very heavy snow bands already pushing into Rockford, Cedar Rapids, Moline, right? Uh, maybe light snow reaching Michigan, but again, most of this was falling as Virga for the majority of the time this uh, was around. Now, let's take this an hour forward to where we are now and notice that it continues to propagate very nicely. Very heavy snow bands are occurring and that will continue to be the trend. Would not be surprised to see some of these locations if uh, these snow bands set up and stall out to max out in terms of that snow and potentially see several more inches than forecasted. But again, I do want to say that the cutoff will be sharp. So there will be locations that do end up several inches lower. It's always the case with snowstorms. You're given the range of 5 to 8, a few will be in the 9 range, a few will be in the 4 range, and the most will be in the 5 to 8 range. Notice the warning map and advisory area is pretty extensive. What we have is uh, obviously the advisories where the lighter snow, but nonetheless snow will fall. A bit of ice as well, I want to mention that. Um, notice obviously where the winter storm warnings are, that's where the heaviest snow will fall. This is the total snow expected for Des Moines area and really all of Iowa on this graphic. Now, this isn't additional snow, so if you already seen 10 inches in Atlantic, you're most likely not going to see 10 inches more. This is uh, the total snowfall, and notice that uh, Des Moines, 10 to 13 inches, if that were to occur, Des Moines, Iowa may be on one of their snowiest seasons on a record, if uh, my records are correct. Uh, yesterday I checked, they were already running around 12 inches above average. Um, notice that in terms of total snowfall uh, for Nebraska, they updated the snow conditions. This is the total snow. This is not additional. Notice that um, 12 to 18, right? That seems to be the case. Nebraska City is getting the hardest hit. But anywhere here as well, up to 12, if not more, is possible. But also lower than 8 is also a possibility. Um, I do want to... Uh, quickly go to say northern illinois let's take a look at the total snowfall accumulations notice what they have is five to eight towards the lake as there will be lake enhancement five to eight plus i would say at this point since this band propagated so early i would say uh you know this four to seven range should be a six to eight they kind of went a bit more conservative as some of the models were showing weaker signs but um the storm is already overperforming slightly again it, this won't turn into a foot two feet event right but a few additional inches i'd say is probably probable and then some models are showing up to a foot in lake effect um plus the system snow so in total over a foot so again and the national weather service made that clear that there could be some amounts reaching that double digit range um this is this forecast snowfall again i think that uh, this is relatively good there will be a sharp cutoff probably even sharper than it is right now across uh even it is displayed over here again you know this four to six inch may extend further south but the drop off will be kind of still rapid just further to the south or vice versa maybe further to the north but still rapid so that is that um let's take a look at detroit michigan right i know i have a lot of people from uh, michigan that are watching and we have the whole state of michigan here they don't they're not going to see a giant uh, system but two to four inches and i would not be surprised if there will be some five to six inch amounts as that snow is kind of rapidly propagating again um i do want to say one thing if you recall earlier earlier i said where snowfall amounts could increase or where they have increased um, I would say, again, the Chicagoland area may see a bit more into Quad Cities, uh, a bit more snow than expected into southern Wisconsin as well. That's another area I would say I'm pretty confident in picking up good amounts of snow, not even just by the lake, but say where Jane is, Janesville is, around the Belly location. I would say several inches uh, are possible maybe even more than a, what the advisory is saying at its top range. Uh, I think there would be a bit more snow than expected across Hartford and Connecticut based on the latest models. Some models are pointing up pretty good snow amounts across Hartford and uh, further west into Boston. You can see they're showing two to three. I think it may be higher. All right, let's take a look at the models and let's start checking what they have to say. So if you recall, this is the hour that we have uh, this model forecasted for. Notice that this is as of three, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. So this is what the model has for now. It's seemingly what it's supposed to be as of now, right around this, right? Plus or minus a few minutes as we're a bit over 5 o'clock right now. Notice Nebraska, Iowa, Illinois, right? Missouri, Indiana. That's what we have. 
compared to the radar, you know, I mean, this band of snow did set up a bit further to the north. Um, but again, this will start filling in, as you can see, the precipitation rising. So these uh, areas are getting a nice boost of snow prior to what the her model said when the snow would start probably roughly around 7 or 8 and it, you know it started around 4 30 even into southern wisconsin notice obviously the snow will continue it will start winding down across nebraska at around the midnight hour including areas like omaha again missouri northern missouri maybe western iowa as well but i do want to say that notice it's kind of splits up and some of these batches will uh last for a pretty, pretty good uh, amount of time and I would not be surprised to say some of these locations still seeing light snow once day breaks across into early morning Tuesday. Now again, if that snow is still falling, it will be light, but it will be falling nonetheless. Notice that Des Moines uh, still seeing pretty moderate snow as of uh, early Monday, uh, sorry, Tuesday morning. Notice uh, 4 o'clock in the morning, that's what we have. And as we push this forward, again, it starts dwindling, but well into the morning hours it continues. Notice Chicago, same story. Um, Milwaukee possibly seeing snow again well into the late morning hours to, you know, 11, 12 o'clock and at noon. Notice Detroit, right, western Michigan continuing to see snow a bit later on. And then look at that. Look what we start seeing here. Not much for Pennsylvania or uh, northern Ohio, more into southern Michigan. But notice, upstate New York starts getting decent snowfall at around uh, tomorrow in the afternoon. This is probably, um, this is... 1 p.m. as it's an hour ahead across Eastern Time. This is Central Standard Time. Notice that again, 1, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, Connecticut, Rhode Island. The herd model puts out decent amounts of snow and for Boston as well. New York City on a cusp between that rain and snow, depending on where you live. Probably northern New Jersey would see a bit more and southern New York versus central or southern New Jersey seeing less. Notice that moves through, right, and actually does continue well into Wednesday early morning hours. I do want to say, look at that lake effect band off of Lake Michigan. That doesn't look too impressive, but if it lags out for a good amount of time across one location, which the HER model shows it doing, it could drop in easily an additional two to four inches across the Chicago land. Now, um, there probably will be locations that receive half an inch, but there probably might be isolated amounts of lake effect that go over five to six inches. I would not be too surprised, to be honest, especially for the duration that this will be occurring. Um, obviously, if this was a super strong lake effect band, you know, a 24-hour period would be an absolute dumpster. This thing will be lighter, and that's why I still think six inches may be possible, especially since it will be occurring for so long. Notice what the HER model does with the new system across Missouri, Illinois, Indiana. That's something to note for. It's a bit more aggressive than other models, but uh, let's just take it through the total snowfall. Notice heaviest amounts into Iowa and Nebraska. Again, it shows lighter amounts here, but it's underestimating some of the snow that is already falling. So I would expect these amounts to be, well, uh, a close to the 6-inch range, including southern Wisconsin. I would say that's also pretty good snowfall. Um, notice that the her in uh, the regional view points out potentially over a foot of snow across across the Cook County area and into Lake County. So that's definitely something we'll have to watch for. Um, for my viewers that live there. Notice into Michigan, three to four inch amounts. Again, Detroit, I would not be surprised to see some of these amounts maybe get up towards a five inch range. Any more than that will be hard to squeeze out of the system as it is kind of moisture starved or it gets started, starts to get sheared, if you will, as it pushes towards the east. Notice the HER model doesn't show bad amounts, even for New York City, two to three inches, Boston potentially reaching that four inch mark, and then widespread amounts of four to five and six near the lakes across upstate New York. Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and into obviously cities like Toronto, but getting a pretty sharp cutoff and uh, disallowing any further snow into Canada. So definitely my folks in southern Canada that live in this region also be wary. You could pick up a bit of snow, not the biggest event of the year, but a, uh, a definitely a snow event. Now, that's the HER model, and I do think it has a very a very uh, good handle on it. Let me just show you some other models, last-minute models, and see what they have to say. Notice, generally the same. It shows a bit more for New York, the GFS, which is a bit something we'll have to watch for in, into northern New Jersey. Notice, again, it goes lighter on amounts in, in northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin. I think they may be a bit heavier. Does a pretty good amount with these, uh, showing an additional potentially 11 inches across southern Iowa, which, uh, based on what I'm looking at, it's possible. And I would not be too surprised to see some amounts over 18 maybe even over 20 uh, inches across southern nebraska um this system definitely is on the stronger side of things than forecasted notice uh but that won't be the case for everyone you know i am saying right now it's a bit stronger but that doesn't mean that detroit will go from four inches to seven or that chicago widespread will go from eight to twelve it's just that if it overperforms 
it's going to be not as surprising as it was yesterday, and it's more likely to overperform at this point than underperform, based on from what I'm seeing. Now, notice that um, in the longer range of things, uh, the GFS introduces snow, and there's actually a system we'll have to watch for in the weekend, which is looking very impactful and powerful for the Midwest again. Um, that's the GFS snowfall amounts. Taking a look at the Canadian, notice it shows very similar things. This was from noon, so a lot of these amounts are going to be a bit lower. They're not going to be as high as, uh, you know, up to over a foot across Kansas. A lot of that has fallen already. Um, notice it shows the lighter amounts here. Again, I think that'll be a bit more filled in. I would not be surprised, you know, if there, will, if there were going to be higher amounts across southern Michigan. Notice it does show widespread amounts of six inches plus across Boston, Hartford, maybe Providence. So be wary. I think this is one of the more aggressive scenarios, but it's a possibility that, you know, it could be, again, a bit of an overproducer as it has been potentially you know uh, so far all across in nebraska kansas and iowa and missouri um northern missouri i should add uh let's take a look at some other models again this is just rapid run through nam 12 km notice relatively similar things the nam i would say handled the system pretty poor so what you're seeing right now may not be uh you know if there's any dramatic changes from other models that the nam shows it's probably not actually going to happen but from what i'm seeing it is resonating with other models pretty well. Nothing really too out of the extraordinary. Um, NAM, uh, I showed you the NAM. Let's take a look at the RGEM, the Canadian high res. Again, relatively good amounts. It's a bit more updated, so I think this is a bit more realistic. Again, up to six, seven inches more across portions of southern Iowa, which would put them near uh, 20 inches across some. Notice if, as if this is the Canadian high res, it mimics the Canadian global model. So it does put out a bit more snow into southern New York, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, possibly into the 5, 6 range. Again, that may be a bit overdone. We're going to have to see. It does show that lake effect, and obviously all models are showing heavier amounts of snow near the lake, which is why the National Weather Service went with heavier amounts near the lake for the Chicago area. Um, again, there will be a pretty sharp cutoff, especially to the south, to the north. There will be for sure a cutoff, a sharper, a, sh a sharp one relatively. I, I, I don't know why I had that problem saying that. So a sharper one to the south, a, a less sharper one to the north, but it's still a relatively good cutoff. And again, this is assuming a 10 to 1 ratio, which for this event, uh, I've said it before, seems pretty accurate. The lake effect may be at a higher ratio, but again, some of these models do overperform that lake effect. As you saw, the, the her model showed some locations in Chicago seeing 16 inches. I don't think that will be happening. But um, maybe over a foot across one or two location, po locations, possibly. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the... Uh, I wanted to take a look at the European model, right? So the European model, again, it, you can see that the system starts elongating and starts shearing out, so the bands start weakening. But notice, still really good snow across Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Wisconsin, into Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland. Uh, good amounts of snow, right? Again, they are seeing some snow across the Northeast right now. Northeast, I should say, Mid-Atlantic. Uh, Washington, D.C. is seeing snow. I expect that to transition over to rain rather quickly. Again, based on what we've been seeing, I, you know, this is a bit, I'm um, sorry about that, it automatically forced me to reload there. From uh, what I'm seeing, I would say that a lot of this here may be a bit, uh, or from what we're seeing here, that some of the snow, as it pushes into Maryland, southern New Jersey, could be a bit stronger than forecasted. I would assume that for Jersey, they're probably calling less than one inch. I would say that that's possible, uh, you know, that it could end up like that, but I would not be surprised to, again, maybe see a bit higher amounts as, you know, they did overproduce a bit into Illinois, you know, some locations got almost two inches within a few hours as this is heavy. It shouldn't be a, a drastic change, though, and notice that a lot of precipitation is starting to flow in, um, rather impressive precip, right? Let's take a look now at, uh, go back to the European model. Notice that again, it shows that that snow and this a lot of this precip pushing it inward, which is why it's going to cause that snow to transition over to rain. Notice the snow abides across much of Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, Nebraska, northern Missouri, northern Kansas by tomorrow at noon. I would say though, again, northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin, maybe even eastern Iowa still seeing snow as of tomorrow, uh, potentially well into the afternoon by the lakeshore. Um, Detroit still possibly seeing snow. Again, maybe just a bit further to the north with this model of the euro but again that exact alignment is still a bit unknown um notice that the euro does advocate for new york city to see some decent snow 
And it is a bit broken apart, but again, all we need is a few hours of the heavier snow, and you could end up with two to three inches of wet snow. It won't be a fluffy snow, but um, it's snow nonetheless, right? Um, it will probably eventually transition over to some sort of a sleet or rain mix. It should not be falling heavily. It shouldn't be, you know, a downpour on the snow that has fallen. Probably just a bit of melting going on. And notice across Boston, New Hampshire, Vermont, New York, uh, the snow does occur a bit uh, patchy. But uh, it, it's there for quite a while, which I think the snowfall amounts could be a bit higher. Notice the European does show this system across Missouri. We'll have to watch for that. It's not far out, but there's still potentially, as you see, uh, there could be some banding. So I wouldn't be surprised if there could be some heavier amounts. I will be going over that in detail in tomorrow's video. Notice the lake effect, right? Pushing into northern Illinois. Still continued well into Wednesday, so that's something to watch for. And for the folks that were wondering across that mid-Atlantic system, I would say that Chances have weakened significantly um, over the past couple of days. They have been already doing this. It doesn't look to be a major snowstorm at all for West Virginia, Virginia, or the coast. Um, it will get rather strong as it pushes off. A 981 in the winds will be strong, especially since the help of these two high pressures are going to be creating a sharp gradient. But... Um, notice that uh, snow is still possible, and I would not be surprised to see a widespread 1 to 3, maybe 2 to 4 inch event. As the European model, which I'm showing you right now, has been one of the models that's been showing a lighter event. And I think that, uh, you know, it's not a good representation of the ensembles. Notice that passes through, but the next system that's potentially significant is, well, first, we'll have to watch this for some ocean effect across extreme Cape Cod. But notice uh, potentially something developing right there, which drops more snow across a different orientation into Indiana, potentially Ohio, Minnesota. Again, that's something to watch for. Um, and that definitely has a potential for the Northeast as well. So you can see right there into New York, Virginia, uh, and, you know, a lot of systems regardless let's take a look at the european total snowfall and take it through tonight notice it puts uh, chicago into that six inch range i think that may be a bit underdone especially across these locations regardless i think the european has the best handle on this um other than the high res i feel like some of the high res models may have a better handle on it notice it shows decent amounts new york city one to three inch varying pretty sharply hartford around four providence around four boston four worcester three to four and then upstate new york probably some higher amounts as a uh, lake effect and the kuchera ratios will be higher notice with that weekend system the european or sorry midweek system european does not put out much across these locations but again it's something to watch for um there, you know I, I would not be surprised to see pockets of two three show up if not even more Again, I will be going in depth on that tomorrow. And I look at that with the potential new systems. Quite a bit more snow falling. One last model I want to look at is RAP. This is a high resolution model that I think is a bit better than the her model, but honestly, they're equally as good. Notice in terms of total snowfall, this is what it does. Um shows quite a bit more as of around this was came out at around three o'clock. So it shows possibly six more inches for Des Moines. I'm assuming they probably already have around five to six inches. So Close to a foot, which is what they're calling for. Notice it does show decent snow into Illinois. Again, a bit underestimated in my eyes, but we'll just have to wait and see. And notice that into New York, Boston, Connecticut, Rhode Island, decent amounts of snow, a bit higher than what they thought might be. Notice that uh, with that uh, weekend system or midweek system, I I think for some reason it's Friday. Um, notice that it points uh, decent amounts right here. Um, not a snowstorm, but, you know, potentially in some locations up to three to four inches. So that's definitely something to watch for. Again, we'll be going in detail about that tomorrow. Reflectivity type. The main error with this model is, again, keeping the snow away for just too long of a period. And I want to just tell you one thing that, look at this. So the model shows right here, this is what it looks like as of six o'clock in the afternoon. You can see not snowing across Chicago, uh, northern Illinois, Indiana, and only starts filling in at around the seven to eight o'clock time frame. Maybe not even that. Notice that if you were to look at the radar, it's uh, a bit more impressive than that, right? We have quite a bit of snow going on, falling across the Illinois area, even into the southern Wisconsin area at this point, and notice it will continue filling in. So these, uh, this model is a bit underestimating some of the snow mounts. And again, I think it may be even underestimating some of the snow mounts into Michigan and northern Indiana, right? Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please leave them down in the comments box below. Stay safe. A travel is not advised across any of these locations, but obviously if you have to, um, you know, just stay safe. Uh, maybe take a, a box of uh, cat litter with you as that, or a, a bag of cat litters that could help you uh, get your tires moving if you're stuck in an area. As you know, some of these locations will be seeing very heavy snow. And uh, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya. Bye.